Good evening guys, this is an update on my uh, anti-theft door handle mechanism thing. Yesterday I posted my video of how to electrify your door handles. Well, I now have come home and had a little play and modified. Um, with regards to some of your comments and questions, the key switch is now going. The key switch has been replaced by one of these. This is a micro switch. You might be able to hear that clicking, you might not. I've mounted this inside my back door where the lock, when you lock your vehicle, an actuator pushes a rod. If it pushes on this rod when the vehicle's locked, then two of these terminals are then the switch to turn on the electric supplier to the handle. So that's one problem solved. So your door handle is only live when you lock your vehicle with your remote. Right, the second question, power source. Batteries obviously isn't gonna last five minutes and it's gonna be pretty crap to be honest. So I thought, how can I get three, three and a half volts from 12 volts? The answer is one of these. This is just a standard USB fag lighter uh, phone charging adapter. Now, USBs are currently five volts. So we are putting a little bit more voltage through it than absolutely necessary, but it seems to be working fine. So I took this apart. Obviously this is your positive and this is your negative. So you take it apart, you find the circuit board, you find where these two go and they are your power in. In this end, take it apart and there'll be five little gold terminals connect one end of your meter to negative and touch each one in turn and one of them will give you five volts take that and send that into your transformer for your fly zapper so that's your live sorted then you take your earth which is also this earth also goes to your fly zapper circuitry and the rest of it, as you know from yesterday's video, is fairly straightforward. So that's hopefully two problems sorted. How to turn it on and the power source. Welcome in the comments once again. Um, I've sort of tried it on my van. Um, the Zappa circuitry does have a red LED on it. I drilled a hole inside the back of my handle, about there on my other handle. And I put the LED in there feeding the wires through with these. Uh, when I locked my vehicle, the LED came on, so the handle was live. Obviously, I didn't touch it, but it does light up the whole uh, recess where your fingers go, so it's a bit obvious, so I might get rid of that. Um, right, yes, so I'm gonna get rid of the LED. I've sorted out the power source and I've sorted out the switching. Um, I will keep you informed and look forward to your comments. Thanks for listening. Bye.